Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is the First Bank SME Connect webinar. My name is Adi Ronke Adibanjo, and I will be moderating what is going to be an insightful and interesting session here at First Bank. Now, the First Bank SME Connect platform is an online platform that's been designed to help SMEs win in the marketplace, and it is the First Bank Edge. But I won't be giving you all of that information. We have people who will be doing that today on today's panel. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know that you can join the conversation. Tweet at us, post on our Facebook page, and remember to use the hashtag, hashtag FirstBankSMEConnect and FirstBankEdge. We have two hashtags with which we'll be collating your questions today. So we've got a panel of three entrepreneurs and the DMD of First Bank, and it's going to be an insightful conversation. So thank you for joining us. Now let me start with our introductions here. Of course, we have the DMD Deputy Managing Director of First Bank, Mr. Benga Shobo. Thank you, sir, for being here. Okay. This is going to be really exciting. And we have three entrepreneurs, one from Lagos, one from Potokot, and one who came all the way from Abuja as well. Let me start with ladies first. Mm -hmm. So we have Adetukumbo Kupolui. She is the owner of Purple Pebble. Welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. We also have Larry Ojo here in Lagos, based here in Lagos. And he is the owner of Siglo Innovations. And last but certainly not least, all the way from PH, we have Bill Akba. He is the owner of Globetrot Farm Sponsor. So very Thank diverse panel me. this morning. Welcome, okay. everyone. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right, so we're going to have a great conversation. And to kick things off, First Bank has started something really exciting for SMEs. And Mr. Shobo will be telling us a little bit about what that is. Yeah. Good morning, and uh, thank you for everybody for coming. Um, for us as First Bank, the SME segment is very, very important, and indeed for the whole country. Um, SMEs contribute about 50% of the GDP of the country. Um, the most important thing for me, but I think what Nigeria needs now in jobs, is about 84% of jobs in the country is SMEs. 70% uh, of all companies registered are also SMEs. So it's a very, very important segment for the country and especially for the, for, for the bank. Um, so recently, KPMG and LBS did a survey around SMEs and um, it, it found out that First Bank was the bank which supported the SMEs the most and which we had the most SMEs in the country. So we also realized that this is a very, very important segment for us. And we've decided to put an extra focus on it. And we're starting that from this week. Uh, we've always been pretty strong with SMEs, but we want to put an extra focus on it. Um, so we have the SME week, which started on Monday. And what we've done is with nationwide, SMEs have been able to go to some of our select branches to go and do business diagnostics, where you ask the, the, the questions, it tells you what you need to still do in your business. And then we have coaches for those SMEs. And it's been very, very, was very, very successful. I believe um, one or two, um, Larry and um, Tokubo, well, also did those um, diagnoses. And I'm sure they will give you the experience um, later. On Wednesday, we also did a master class for SMEs. So we brought SMEs together and we had discussions with them on how to improve. Now, I'll now go to the next pillar of our new focus, which is the SME Connect platform. We've put an online platform in it, o o online. So we're, this is with, from all the experience we've had over the years with dealing with SMEs. We've decided to put that platform in place where all resources are available for them. There are seven pillars around the SME Connect. Uh, one is capacity building. What we've also done with the platform is to leverage our relationships with multinationals, big players, our other partners, so that we'll bring their resources available to the SMEs, first bank SMEs. Um, so we have. The first thing we want to do is capacity building. For example, we're working with um, Microsoft for um, training, uh, Google. We also will be doing our training all over the country for SMEs. So you'll be able to go on the platform. You'll also be able to see blogs, you'll be able to see webinars of, that would help you. Um, next thing is finance. That's very, very important for, for SMEs. What you find out, and that's why the SME portal and connect, SME Connect is important, is that you find that SMEs don't always know what is available. I know SMEs who say, look, you always need security, you need this, but that's not true. For example, for First Bank, if you're a school, 
we can give you short-term finance without any security. 90 days, we'll give you short-term. If you want long-term finance for like an expansion, you want to build a lab, you can do it for a minimum of 12 months and above without security. So that's there. For company, for SMEs who have LPOs to finance for multinationals, we can give you without security um, facilities. If you already have done the job, we can pay for, we can give you the money in invoice discount, contract finance, but without any security. Um, we have a product called the Trader Solution. That means this is for market women or market people. So there's only women <laughs> actually. <laughs> so let's, for example, um, a market woman in Okiari, we would give you finance for up to 90 days without security. And we have various other um, facilities that would ask for. Obviously, there are facilities of security. If you're a manufacturer, for example, and you want to buy man, um, equipment over a period of time, we could take your equipment and we'll be able to give you finance. So there are possibilities around finding finance for SMEs. A lot of them don't know, but we have on the, connect, on the, on the platform, you'll be able to go there and see what's available. Um, the third pillar is um, access to markets. With access to markets, we will be able to, we have our first bank SMEs who advertise on the platform. So if you're selling hats, which <laughs> she's doing, I'm sure everybody has seen her beautiful hat, she will be able to put it on the platform. And anybody who goes on the like, um, the market, Africa, for, if you're an exporter, for example, you can put your product on the platform. And an importer who goes through our uh, uh, the platform can see it and actually order through you. So those are kind of things w that our SMEs would not be, others would not be able to see their, their, their products and w they, they, they will be. We have advocacy, regulation, so a lot of SMEs also don't know what regulations, what policy and how it affects them. So we will listen there. The Central Bank is working on that will be there. Um, there are things like support, business support. I think SMEs a lot don't have the resources to, 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 to a lawyer, to an accountant. That's what we'll have there. So we'll have various partners wow. where you can go there and you can actually ask for a lawyer at discounted rates. You can ask for accounting at discounted rates. Insurance at discounted rates. So you don't have to have a lawyer. Also, we're working with Google if you register on our platform, you will be able, immediately you do that, you will be, when people search for who makes hats, your name will pop up. You wouldn't have, I'm sure, if somebody searched for games, if we using Google, your name pops up. That's the kind of thing that a normal SME wouldn't have um, access to. Uh, infrastructure. So we're also working with companies that bring space where you can come and work. So you don't have to have an office. So for maybe a little as 8,000 for 30 days, you have somewhere where you can work, work from. Those are things, SM is not looking for an office. He might need only an office for like a month, two months, mm -hmm. or before he now is stable and go and get somewhere for himself. At least he's not out there Mm -hmm. on the streets mm -hmm. looking for or and somebody's asking for him in some way he can he yes, can yeah. go to um, wow. so those are the various things around now the business diagnosis which you did would be on the portal open to everybody first bank and non first bank customers so you will be able to go there ask the, they will ask you questions you go through the question it will rate what level of your business you are today and it will give you an ability to ask for a coach to help you go through the diagnostics results. So the whole idea, and the name is, is SME Connect. It's basically to bring SMEs to us and be, we be able to put resources around resolving their issues. So I'll let everybody else say something. I'm going to be able to explain to you as you talk about your businesses on how the SME Connect platform will be.
Absolutely brilliant. I mean, you kept going. I kept saying there's more. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> and I think one of the things that you might have mentioned, but I think is worth reiterating, is that you connect SMEs to partners and to platforms yes, and to right. resources, but there's a discount, correct? Yes. So, it's so, for example, we're working with Swift, the network, the internet network guys. If you come through the SME Connect, you get it at a cheaper, at a cheaper rate. With the lawyers that we're working with, the law firms that we're working with, it will come at a discount. Insurance, it will come at a discount, and so on and so forth. So that's Great. one of the reasons. Fantastic. All right, so I'm sure everyone is itching to find out <laughs> what these entrepreneurs do. I'm sure Tokumbos is a little more obvious. But let's talk to Bill real, real quick. Tell us a little bit about what Globetrot Farm Sponsors do. Okay, um, Globetrot Farm Sponsor uh, is an agri-tech company. What we do is we empower local farmers with tools and farm imputes, finance, we bring, we, we focus on, on poultry, poultry production, chicken for meat. So what we do when we come into your farm, we give you the feed, we give you the vaccine, we give you the drugs, we give you manpower skilled, uh, manpower veterinary doctors as well, that will be in the farm from start to finish. So in the end, we sell these products and then the proceed is, is shared among the, the parties. So that's what we, we finance, you know, making sure that they, they, they operate at capacity and also operate effectively as well. Right. So that's what we do, basically. We should have had another guest, the chicken, but <laughs> today. All right, Larry, tell us a little bit about your product. Okay, so um, my product is called Values and Vices. It's a board game uh, designed to teach children morals. Um, I mean, we're all aware of the declining social morals. The world is uh, going crazy. The world is going upside yeah. down, you know, so we have kidnappings, fake news, so many things. Now, we tend to assume that people know how they are to behave, um, which is, which I feel we should correct. We should actually teach people the basics, you know, the basic foundation, which is what this game, um, Values and Vices, is out there to teach, you know. So, Values and Vices, um, it has um, cards, we call them Values and Vices cards, uh, which correspond to good and bad habits respectively. So the more you play, the more you learn. The good habits offer you a reward, while the bad uh, devices cards, which are the bad habits, you know, give a reprimand, uh, basically. So it's a fun way, you know, of teaching uh, children. So now, they don't have an option. You cannot tell me, I don't know this is bad or this is wrong, you know. I have um, knowledge. Once I've played this, I know that, okay, it is wrong for me to do this, you know, or this is the right thing to do, basically. So that's um, what Values and Vices is about. And this is one of many games that you this guys is, produce. Yes, this is our flagship uh, product, you know, so we're starting with this. We actually have it as this size, the board size. We have a family-sized mat, um, two, by, two feet by three feet, and then we have a life-size mat. So that one is ideal for outdoor use. You know, so it's quite fun, uh, very engaging, very fun uh, product. Great. Tukumbo, tell us about Purple Pebble. Okay, um, Purple Pebbles is a company that designs and creates fascinators and hats. They usually conversation starters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my pieces are, they elevate the, uh, the overall outfit of a woman, more like amplifying her look and Knowing that women are a bit more concerned about how they present themselves when they go out for events and stuff, this uh, kind of pieces, these are the kind of pieces that they look forward to wearing, and there's a ready market for it. So um, it's it's it just helps fuel the innovation that that is there already. You know, I also try to um, incorporate different sort of materials into my pieces. So um, for that luxurious woman who wants to who wants exclusivity, I can get that done for her because they're all mostly custom made. I, although I have a retail part to the hats for the um, general public, but um, a woman that wants something different, she wants to stand out. I have those pieces as well. So I have I make use of various types of materials from precious stones to um, unique fabrics, lustrous fabrics cards, silks, all, all manner of things, you know, just so that the piece is is so rich at the end of the day and she would definitely get all the compliments, you know. With my hat on, she's definitely going to get her pictures taken everywhere she goes. Yes, yes. So the three of you have spoken very passionately with big smiles on your faces about your businesses, but we know that there were challenges oh, getting yes. to this point. Um, let me start with Tokumbo and Larry because you both did the first bank diagnostic test. 
tell us a little bit about the challenges that you face. You've been in business for one year, about two years, and a year at Bill as well. Yeah. So tell us about some of the challenges that you faced, and then tell us about the, the diagnostic test and how that helped you guys um, really see for yourselves where your business is. Well, just before you answer that, I just want to say that the SME Connect is exactly, even when you were all speaking, I realized that you are going to soon put your hats on SME Connect. You will be putting your games on SME Connect, and you are going to build your business on SME Connect. These are things you might not have been available okay. to you, and because other SMEs and other people are looking into that way, they will be able to see and patronize you. Yes. Sorry, I just no. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So, Larry, go ahead. All right. So, um, initially, uh, we faced the initial challenge of uh, access to funding because um, this I have to produce this in bulk for it to make business sense, uh, basically. And um, so we had to sort of like improvise. Um, okay, let's uh, work with the um, lower hanging fruits. You know, before we got to this stage, uh, basically, which we still require uh, masses to finance, is still an ongoing um, challenge uh, to produce, um, say, a thousand units of this, which is not even a bulk, uh, you know, production. I'll, I'll need at least about two million thereabouts to successfully do that, you know, so that's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a continuous, an ongoing challenge. Um, one of the, another thing that we faced was structure, you know, so which was why I loved well, when was discussing about the SME Connect and um, access to like a lawyer. Yeah, it, when I was trying to get a trademark for this, it was, if I had the SME Connect, I'm sure it would have been way easier. I had to make several calls, you know, and those calls were, Initially, I had, it now had to be someone calling somebody, to, and I didn't still get what I was looking for, which SME Connect I'm sure would have helped me sort out. I still have people asking me, oh, how did you do your trademark? How did you go about it? So now I just need to refer them to SME Connect, yeah, basically. Absolutely. Yes. So um, the diagnostic test, I was wowed by it because um, it more or less showed me, oh, okay, this, I knew I had. Um, issues with structure, you know, that's one of the fears I was having, oh, how do I structure this, this business is big, we need to structure it so that it doesn't crumble, you know. So um, when I took the test, it just, it was like a, an x-ray, <laughs> and then you just see everything, oh, okay, and it was awesome. And then we met with coach, um, a life coach, you know, a business coach, and um, so we're trying to get this online, which was uh, the plans we're having just before we got the message on SME Connect. And basically, everything the code discussed with me was oh, how to position your brand properly on IG. So it was interesting. It was very beautiful, very, very worthwhile. Something I need to add that we are working on, not on it yet, but we're working on, on SME Connect, is also to be able to, for the SME to get access to equity investors. Yeah. Well, you find out that for SME at the beginning, most banks cannot finance you because there's no business yet. Just when you were starting, when you start, you had an idea. You find that the banks, the way we're structured, it's more difficult to finance ideas. But it's equity you need at that stage. And it's not as if they're not available in Nigeria. Maybe not as much as um, in developer countries, but they are. Somebody with your, you pitching your idea to, just like him, he, he's basically an equity sort of provider because he goes there, he, he brings in resources, and he, both of you share in, in the, the profits. So, there might be somebody in that space. And there are people who basically will sit down with you, have a discussion, invest, and agree on how returns will be. So again, on, on SME Connect, there will be that as we, as we go along. Yeah, you're very correct. Because um, one of the questions I kept getting was, how many have you sold? Like, mm. I've not produced, how do I sell? Yeah. You know, so which is... So if we can, if we can link the SMEs, too. And for you too, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same thing. Yeah. You can link you at the initial stage of your, of of your the, idea of, of the, to yeah. people who can bring in equity. Then, of course, we'll support as you, as you start doing yeah. the business with, with, with finance. Yeah. That is exactly what we're trying to achieve here. A one-stop shop for SMEs. Yeah. Fantastic. So, Bill, tell us some of the challenges that you faced at the initial stage. Okay. It's only been a year, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the challenges are still there. They're you know. still there, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, the challenges we faced was um, 
the cold feet, you know, some of these farmers had. Yeah. You know, so they, you don't, you've not seen me for the first time and this is new. Are you sure these people are not scammers and all right. that? So, but I'm the one giving you money, so why are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so that was uh, basically what deterred us a little because before we could convince the first farmer, farmer to uh, deal, it's not as if they don't bring anything to the table. Of course. Of course. Those, some of them, their farms are long, abandoned. You have to get it up to shape and then bring in the feeders and all that. And so it takes a lot of money from them as well. And uh, so, but when we started with the first one, so he or she started announcing it, you know, telling her friends. Mouth. And they have a kind of uh, an association, association. Yeah. in Port So uh, she came there and announced it. Look these are the guys that are in town, you know. So they were telling me about uh, the federal government and co-borrowers. That's, that's what they do as well. So uh, there's a kind of uh, connection. But then, uh, then it, it was delayed. So many of them were not, uh, they did not get it initially. So they just, everybody was my phone every time calling <laughs> me, you know, come to my farm and all that. So that was basically the first uh, uh, challenge we had. Then the secondly was when the, when the farm got bigger, where to sell? You know, because the, the beds were now so many. We started with uh, 250 beds. We did 1,000, did 5,000. So when you got to 10,000, how, how do you sell it? Yeah. You know? so access and, to market. And it's access live, yeah. it's, it's, it's live beds. They're, 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 they're all live beds. So you, you, you find it very difficult. If, if, if some, of these, some of these buyers, when they come to the farm, they will see plenty beds. They will just come and say, okay, I'll buy it to some, some amount of money. They know you're under pressure because yeah. if you don't sell, they'll continue to feed on your profit. Right. So they put that, they use that uh, psychology to make you sell below what you're supposed right. to sell. So you just do what we call panic sale. You just sell because you want to get them off the farm. So we, we now bought some local processing equipment, you know, so we process this bed, then take it to uh, uh, someone, some, some Indians, they started um, a kind of a cold room in Port Harcourt, like uh, a processing unit in Port Harcourt. So we, when we process in our local, we take to them, they blast it for us, make it okay, and then we label and sell to uh, uh, people. So that's what we've been doing. But, uh, but I know we need to do more, you yeah. know, because need to, they are also taking from our profits. We go into them. So if we have our own equipment, of course, it will go a long way to again. Um, that's where profit. the bank comes in. Yeah. But there's no more an idea now. Yeah. Now yeah. what you need to do is finance and equipment that would enhance the business. Yes. So we already see a you know, cash flow. Yeah. Do that kind of thing. So that's again where SP Connect comes in. We can see that from what you've done. Yeah. What also helps you is that it opens you to a market so people yeah. can also see what you're doing. Exactly. So this is the problem and I'm happy that we're telling you the problem the SME has, which the SME Connect will a long way in resolving. Yeah, That's true. absolutely. That's true. So, 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 Tokuma, tell us some of the uh, challenges that you faced. Okay. Um, in the beginning, I had um, issues with funding and um, still do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also had issues with access to market. So, it was when, uh, before I taking up as a full time business, it was trying to tell the ladies around me, oh, you need to try something different. Don't go to that party in your gilet. Try this fascinator, you know. And then they go, oh, no, no, no. Gil is the statement. And I'm like, my pieces are statement pieces as well. Give it a try. So I had that issue initially, but um, now that is getting, it's getting better. It's not at its best yet, but it's not what it used to be. And then I also had problems with inventory. I, the particular kinds of materials that I use, and they're not readily available here. So. I'm forced to, I'm under pressure to try to source them from outside Nigeria, and that is capital intensive. And through the diagnostic test, I realized that I wasn't taking into account certain things for the business. Um, the structure wasn't right, and with the result, I went over to the coach, and he tried to highlight those points for me. So right now, there are better ways to go about it um, if I need uh, for take for example, if I need um, some gold pieces, gold um, chippings or something, I could blaze with some goldsmiths in Abuja and try to go on a payment plan of some sort. 
and if they're open to it. I mean, I have to keep trying until I get that person who is open to it. And, you know, that was something that came up from discussion with the coach. I also found that I was doing my marketing wrongly. I was just throwing it out there to whoever was willing to catch it. And, you know, so it was basically um, chasing 10 birds at the same time and catching none. Catching none. <laughs> yeah, so um, he, he also showed me how to do targeted um, marketing. And that's, I mean, we're in the social media era right now. So that's where you do, mo I do most of my sales anyway. So he, sh he showed me methods to um, do targeted adverts to the, the kind, the class of people that I want to buy. Because I found out that because I was just trying, I was so desperate to get my pieces out there. I was selling to just about anybody. But my pieces are not for everybody, unfortunately. You know, so to get to those right set of people, how to target those audience, that was done. That was, I got that from the, from the coaching section, and that was really impactful. Thank you. So that's another thing that the SME platform offers as well. Okay, so remember that you can join the conversation. I'm sure many of you out there have questions. Remember to use the hashtag FirstBankSMEConnect and FirstBankEdge. We'll be getting your questions and sharing them with the panel and, of course, with Mr. Shoba as well. So, Mr. Shoba, what are some of the other challenges? I mean, right here in this conversation, we've heard access to funding, which is always the main issue. We've heard access to market. Um, can we talk a little bit about structure? You know, a lot of the time, you know, you're starting a business. You don't really know how to... To go That's about that. This is a big problem for the SME. About 85% of SMEs that start up fail in five, within five years. And it's not only just finance, it's structure. And, um, for example, the most simple thing an SME should do is that every money he gets, he must bank it. He gets what? He must bank it. He must bank go and it. put it in his account. Yeah. That does various things for you. One, it brings out a record for a bank that will finance you in future. Secondly, it helps you keep records of your business. A lot of SMEs, for example, collect money and immediately just use it to buy mm -hmm. something else. Mm -hmm. That record has disappeared within your system. So even if an accountant, your accountant comes up and says he wants to do your record, he can't see any trace mm -hmm. of that. And your bank, you're not going to say, I need money. And you're going to say, oh, they didn't give me, the bank didn't give me money. <laughs> but the bank can't see what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. So, for example, that's the, one of the most simple, and that's what your coach or an accountant would tell you from day one. Very, very important. Um, tools are also a problem for SMEs, whereby you have accounting tools. You know, you, you can easily have some accounting software that helps you just keep records. That's things like that. Um, so what the SME Connect has is that you have, have access to some of those kind of tools. There's productivity tools from uh, Microsoft. There's um, accounting, uh, the, the, the partner we have, Accounting Hub, I believe, which have Sage um, Accounting, which they help you basically help keep your records. Of course, like I said, we will have accountants which you can um, access on our platform, on the SME Connect. So tools is a big uh, problem. All at discounted rates. Right. Because that's what we really want. You also find out a lot of the Microsoft of this world, the Googles of this world, they actually have SME, they have products that are get towards the SME. Which they are willing actually to bring, but they can't find the SMEs. So for us, if we can get all our SMEs on, on the platform, it's easy to interface for, with, with them so the coaching is very important like you've all sort of uh, br brought out um, marketplace Africa is something I need to mention I did mention it when I started up is for you to be able to not have only markets in Nigeria but abroad so on the platform also you will put your hats there and people outside Nigeria okay. will be able to buy your game, you'll be able to put it there. People outside Nigeria will be able to buy. One, it becomes visible to them. And secondly, they can buy. Um, all the logistics is also better and easier because it's a live platform. It's not a first bank platform. It's a partner of ours who already does it. So what we just do is moving our SME products onto that platform. So they know a way of getting your hat to London, to the U.S., 
in a way that is cost effective, safe for the two partners. Right. Because three, somebody from London buying from Nigeria is mm. wondering whether it's also <laughs> for one night with my heart ever come. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a credible platform. Like I said, it's not the first bank. We chose them very carefully. So you can also start exporting your 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 thing. So your your products. Fantastic. So we have questions coming in <laughs> using the hashtag First Bank SME Connect and First Bank Edge. If you tweet at us or you use a Facebook page, we'll get your questions. So Chuku Chuku De Dubem on Twitter says, How can an SME access loans on the SME Connect platform? Okay. Um, on the platform, what we're going to be putting in there is our ability to contact us. So you will be able to go onto the platform, you will put in your name, ask what you want. One of our relationship managers will have his email on, on, on the platform, you'll send an email. His supervisor will also have he, your email. So you will write to them, you will go into the branch, you will sit down with them, you'll have a discussion with them. They'll go through um, your requirements, they'll do an analysis of what you have and then you can, that conversation can start. So you will be able to contact us, you will be able to be linked to a relationship manager, and then you'll be able to meet that relationship manager and the discussions can take place. Great. Shea from Facebook says, I'd like to understand how the portal can help with business structure. Right now, it's not around my business suffers. Can SME Connect help me structure my business for scale? You've kind of touched on that, but you can reiterate a little bit on that. Yes. My advice to Shea, Shea, Shea on Facebook. would be, you should go onto the platform, you should do the business diagnostic. And I think I have two <laughs> alumni. <laughs> I have two alumni of the business yeah. diagnostic platform. When he does that, what the business diagnostic does is ask him various questions around his business. Am I right? Yes. And you will take, you will say yes, no. Then afterwards, it gives you a result. That result will show him the, the gaps which he has in his business. My other advice to him is that he should ask to meet a coach which they also did. Mm -hmm. um, in meeting that coach, he will be able to get advice on how to scale his business. And it is not a one-time advice, depending on what he subscribes with with the coach. It's something he can be talking to the coach over a period of time, which guides him throughout, at least for a period of time, on how to, 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 to work on his business. So I think that's the way how that will work. And let's even talk a little bit about investing time and those, those sorts time in those sorts of resources, right? A lot of the time you find that entrepreneurs are very passionate about what they're doing, the product, the service, that all of those things kind of fall by the wayside. Would you guys agree? And so when you have somebody that can guide you um, on the right path, I think that that's a really valuable thing to have, absolutely. And very quickly, James on YouTube says, I have issues understanding the legal implications of securing certain funds. How does the platform help us in understanding or accessing legal individuals that can help SMEs? Yes. So we, again, we have legal partners, about two, three, four, five um, law firms, which are our partners on this platform. We will continue to include new law firms. We're doing that carefully, so of course, so that we know that the partner <laughs> is a, a good one. And indeed, it needs to be nationwide. I think what we have now, basically in Lagos. So we have law firms who are already partners. So if you, anything you want, from a law firm, you can contact them on the platform. Like I said, that now means an SME doesn't have to have a permanent lawyer. He doesn't have to have a permanent legal advisor. It's something that they need basis in a way, which you will, but of course you pay. So let's, <laughs> let's see, but it is that discounted. Again, we've, we've made those negotiations. Well, we have size. We can negotiate better pricing than yeah. an SME can. So if, you, if we're partnering you, we've agreed on, um, on discounted, value or, or discounted um, fees for, for our customers. So that will definitely help him. Fantastic. All right. So any other interesting things that you want to tell us about the platform? I mean, sh you've told us so much, Mr. Shobo, mm -hmm. about this platform. I'm sure everyone out there is itching to, <laughs> to sign up and get involved. And, you know, how would you... What, what else would you say to an entrepreneur who's still kind of on the fence saying, mm, I don't know, it's another platform, do I really need it? You know, I just want to get my business out there. We've that created sort of the platform to add value to SMEs. Um, like I said, and like my um, colleagues on the panel have all said, especially when they were explaining the 
problems or the issues they had initially. It all boils down to, I have an idea, I have passion, and I want to do some business and scale it over time. And it's a business which you want to use to make profit. Everybody starts up, or most people, will start up with few resources, not enough business support. What the SME Connect is a platform is supposed to do is to make that all available for an SME as they start, or indeed in the, as they go along. Um, so I really believe that it is a very powerful tool whereby, imagine, I don't have an office, I can get a discounted office. I don't have um, internet. And mm -hmm. like you said, everything is digital, everything is online today. I can get a discounted package because I'm on the SME Connect. I need legal advice. Just at a click, I can contact somebody who can give me legal advice. I can't account for my business. Well, you, can't, you must know whether you're making profit or not. Again, I can link um, an accountant for whatever type of work I, uh, uh, I require. Training, capacity building. I can have world-class blogs, world-class articles that can be linked to what I want to do by such companies like Microsoft, Google. It's there. You can see it. A webinar like this would be there, you'll be able to access it, listen to what people are saying. It won't be only this, but different ones that have various areas, various industries which you can, you, you, you can, you, you can see. Um, it also gives you training. So we will be doing training all over the country for SMEs. And of course, from that platform, you will be able to know when we're doing it. You'll be able to register for them and attend. Um, like I said, the business diagnosis is very, very important. And I'm, I'm actually advocating that every SME does it. It doesn't only have to be a first bank customer for the, for the diagnostic, so you can go ahead and do that. Being able to con contact us at the bank for financing needs is also, I think, very, very important. And um, we will also be showing or being made available on the platform, the various policies that can affect you as an SME. Um, then we'll be able to let you know also the financing, because financing is also very important for, 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 for SMEs. So all the various products we have, which can help you. When we get the um, equity link on, I think that will be also very powerful, because really SMEs at the beginning is tough. Now, you being able to put your products where other people can see them, is powerful also because more people for example when he started his business if he could introduce it to a, a nationwide mm -hmm. market he, this, he might have scaled two three four times where he is today so that's also very 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 important um so so I can go on, yeah. uh, but the whole idea is really to have somewhere SMEs can get support of all types. I'm going to put the, the entrepreneurs, I almost said the SMEs, but the <laughs> entrepreneurs <laughs> on the spot very quickly as we start to round this up. So now that you, you have access to the SME Connect, leaving here today, what is the one or what are the two things that you're going to take advantage of right away from this conversation? that's available to you on the SME Connect. Who wants to go first? <laughs> oh, well, I think um, access to insurance, yeah. um, the conversation on the financing, the marketplace, very important. Um, that <laughs> literally almost, almost, everything. <laughs> <laughs> almost everything. Yeah, but almost immediately, what are the things So almost do? immediately, yeah. Um, the marketplace, um, that, is, um, that is primary. Then um, the insurance, as I said, because it's quite important as well. And um, there was one other one I was going to. Resources, the lawyers. Lawyer. Yes, the resources. Yeah, yeah. So the resources are also um, something that we need, you know, especially as we're looking to set up a structure, a proper structure. So it means I don't have to um, start giving myself a headache. You know, I just come there and pick what I want 
Uh, yes, to Bill. What about you, Bill? Okay, um, I think the first thing I would do is to leverage on is uh, uh, the resources, uh, especially as regards the lawyers, because and then accountant as well. Because, like you said, if you don't really know how much you're making, you may not even know whether you're making profit or not. Mm -hmm. So, the yes, tidying yeah. up the books yeah. properly. So that's, that's the first thing I would do. You know. Great. And then the other, you? the other things, uh, I would definitely go go into all yeah. of them because the this is just the best I've seen so far. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and what about you, Tokumbo? <laughs> oh, definitely the marketplace um, because I need that access and. Um, accounting um, platform as well because I need to take in a lot of, uh, put in a lot of structures in how cash flows in and out of the business. And then because the business is scalable, um, I've had people ask me from everywhere around the world, like, they want to come in for some form of training and I can't physically do that. But now there are platforms where you can actually do this online. You can take courses, my courses online. You know, so getting using the um, SME Connect platform, there's certain trainings that I'll have to take so that I'll, I'm well equipped to also give out those trainings for those um, itchy <laughs> students that want to get on board as well. And that's more money for the business. Anyway. I'm happy you said it. But what we've done really is done a lot of research around um, what SMEs require. Um, my team have um, done um, basically diagnosis of what SMEs are, and they've tried to put everything in the platform, on the platform. We'll continue to enhance the platform, of course. Um, something I, I mentioned earlier, which I think is going to be very important for you, that please go register on that platform so that when they're searching for your business, for, for hats, mm -hmm. for agri support, for games, your name anywhere in the world will we'll, we'll, we'll start popping up, and if people start searching and finding you. Those are the kind of things which we do. We'll continue to interact with SMEs going forward, of course, is to see how we improve the platform. And we'll be putting more partners. We, I've just mentioned some few lawyers, accountants. Mm -hmm. Who knows? If you want plumbing somewhere down the line, somewhere down the <laughs> line, he's an SME. He yeah. does business. You link, boom, you can find four or five people in various areas. Which you find. That's the kind of powerful platform we're trying to build. So this is just the beginning. Yeah. This is just the beginning. It's That's really it. good. And for those of you watching who are thinking, okay, what's the website? Give us a little bit more information. You probably have seen it on the platforms that you're on, but let me just let you know the website. It's smeconnect.firstbank.com. smeconnect.firstbank.com. Go on there and all the amazing things that Mr. Shobo has been talking about, you'll find on the platform. I think at this point, we can pretty much wrap it up. Um, thank you so much for being thank here. You. Let me just reiterate your businesses and your names. We have Bill Akba who is um, the owner of Globetrot Farm Sponsor, all the way in PH, Port Harcourt. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Also, homegrown in Lagos, <laughs> Larry Ojo, um, Siglo Innovations. You make board games. Yeah, values and vices board games. And game. values and vices board game. And Tokumbo Kupului from <laughs> Abuja <laughs> <laughs> with Purple Pebble. And, of course, last but not certainly least, uh, no, certainly not least, rather, <laughs> Mr. Gwenga Thank Shobo, you very much for coming. Deputy everybody. Managing Director of First Bank Nigeria. Thank you for being here, everyone. Thank and thank you. you, most importantly, for joining us on the webinar. The webinar, I understand, will be available um, for replay at the end of this webinar broadcast. So thank you for joining us. My name is Adi Ronke Adibanjo. I've been your host. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day and have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.